XD-ALD-8X47B is a demonstration unmanned combat aerial vehicle UCAV designed for aircraft carrier-based operations. Developed by the American defense technology company Northrop Grumman, the X-47 project began as part of DRPA's DUCS program. The X-47B is a tailless jet-powered blended wing-body aircraft capable of semi-autonomous operation and aerial refueling. The tailless unmanned aircraft is 38 feet long and has a wingspan of 62 feet. The shape of the aircraft is designed for stealth or low observable relevant requirements. The weapons bay can carry four 500 IBUB weapons. Operations of the computer-controlled X-47 BUCAS are smart and its flight control system is autonomous. The navigation of the UCAS is controlled by a hybrid global positioning system GPS, vision-based system. The flight path is pre-programmed and its operations are monitored by a mission operator. The UCAS is equipped with electro-optics EO, infrared IR, synthetic aperture, radar, SAR, inverse SAR, Ground Moving Target Indicator GMTI, Electronic Support Measures ESM, and Maritime Moving Target Indicator, MMTI Sensors. The UCASD features both probe and drodes of the U.S. Navy and boon receptacle mechanisms of the USAF for autonomous air refueling. The X-47B is powered by a Pratt & Whitney F-100 PLU-220U engine and exhaust system. The aircraft has a high subsonic speed of approximately 45 m and a range of approximately 2,100 m. The UCAS can fly to a maximum altitude of 40, 000 feet. Two autonomous jet-powered X-47B aircraft were built under the UCASD program. The two demonstration vehicles have similar design and two autonomous jet-powered X-47B aircraft were built under the UCASD program. They can accommodate various kinds of sensors for reconnaissance, intelligence, and surveillance and have space for weapon systems. The payload is not installed by the demonstration units. The aircraft was also tested for launching, operating, and recovering capabilities in a Navy carrier operable area of 50M. Design considerations for a naval UCAV included dealing with the corrosive saltwater environment, deck handling for launch and recovery, command and control system integration, and operation in an aircraft carrier, high electromagnetic interference environment. Unmanned rules. As a pilot, I can say that you spend a lot of effort on not being overwhelmed when stuff is going on. For combat in particular, a room full of people in charge of an X-47, who are not going to die, is a vastly superior system to one poor dude trying to keep it all together, plus having his butt on the line. The X-47B has a maximum unrefueled range of over 2,100 nautical miles, 3,900 kilometers and an endurance of more than six hours. This is a space Northrop Grumman plans to compete heavily in by leveraging the lessons learned from the X-47Bs and new cutting-edge programs. Like the B-21, we will be posting a very in-depth piece that will look back at the X-47B program and look forward to what the company is working on for the future in the advanced unmanned space. The Navy almost developed a stealthy, armed, carrier-launched attack drone to bring new range dimensions to maritime power projection. This drone would have conducted high-risk forward offensive missions against enemy air defenses, enemy surface ships, and even adversarial fighter aircraft. The Pentagon is already known to operate some stealthy drones, as well as armed drones, Yet there may also be space for new drones, which are both armed and stealthy, perhaps even some tailored to a maritime warfare environment, as UCLASS was.